Rockets carrying satellites could soon be blasting off from a remote part of the Scottish Highlands if plans for the UK's first spaceport go ahead. Yeah, the British space industry is booming. In fact, it's been growing five times faster than the rest of the economy since the turn of the century. It's now worth £14 billion. Well, here to tell us more is astrophysicist Tamala Masil. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. I do like talking about space oh, because I, I love it. Love yeah, it. I bet yeah. you do. <laughs> Because it's a lot bigger as an industry in the UK than I think people really yeah. imagine, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think a lot of people think of NASA. Certainly, I grew up in the States following NASA missions. They think of Russian missions. They don't really think of the European Space Agency, and they don't think about the UK Space Agency. Um, but, of course, we had Tim Peake go into orbit a few years ago, and I think that really highlighted the fact that there is a very vibrant, very quickly growing uh, space industry here in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, you were talking to Airbus earlier. They're about to build the next rover to go to Mars, the ExoMars rover, and that's being built in Stevenage. Uh, so people are coming from around the world to the UK for expertise from everything from Mars exploration to Earth observation. So how does our um, space agency compare to NASA? Because that's the one, you know, we're, we're part of the European Space mm. Agency. How do we compare in terms of development or investment or ambition even? So the UK has been in space since the early days, since the 1960s. And actually, it was the third country to operate a satellite after the Americans and the Russians. Um, and since then, I think it's really been innovative in the instruments that it sends, the detectors, uh, the data processing, but also the small satellites. And that's where the UK is really strong at, is building these very small CubeSats uh, that launch on smaller rockets or could even launch from a plane. Um, and they are able to do amazing things these days because stuff has come, come miniaturized, so you can put very powerful cameras, very powerful instruments on a small satellite, launch it from the north of Scotland, and it can monitor car parks or ports or um, crops in the UK. And it can do that for very specific businesses. So you're starting to see commercial businesses coming on board and saying, we can afford space now, and we'd like to launch it from the UK. So how do you make money from space? Because obviously, we talked about how much it contributes to the economy. And mm. clearly, you can see that with the jobs. But how is it being paid for and how do you make money from it? So I think there's a, a misconception when people talk about space industry, they're thinking of money being spent on the moon or yeah. Mars. But of course, the money is being spent here. Um, and the, the biggest industry is really Earth observation and communications. So I think people don't really realize just how ingrained space is in our everyday lives. And if we were to switch off all of the satellites in orbit right now, we would notice, you know, we would be able to stop broadcasting here. Uh, but within a matter of hours, industries would grind to a halt because your transport links stop. You know, you stop having GPS telling people where to go so in cities. So in terms cities. of budget, then, of yeah. how, how companies are now reassigning budgets, because it's always developing. We talk about technology, but how much is of that, it, roughly, is now being put towards space than, say, it was before? So the industry is about £14 billion. As you said, you've got about 40,000 people working in the industry. But you're starting to have big companies uh, looking to space and saying, we would like a custom product. We would like a satellite that can monitor the car parks perhaps for ASDA, as an example, you know, and tell us which cars parks are full and which ones aren't, monitor the shipping that's going around the world. And you have companies able to afford this now because space has become miniaturized, it's cheaper to send things into space, and that's where the UK has started to position itself with these spaceports. Fascinating. Yeah, it is. It's just, it's incredible. And you put it into a fantastic context there because you don't think of space and then an ASDA car park, do no. you? No, so, <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Don't. Just an example. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a brilliant, exactly. That's what I like about it. It's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And of course, many other supermarkets exist with car parks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we wear uh, for the BBC. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you've got to have that. Uh, it's a couple of minutes to nine. Do you know, 10 years since the um, ABBA film. Mama.